Valentine's Day is coming up, and what better way to show somebody that you care than by carving a lovely heart-shaped box for them? Whoop whoop! We're gonna start one right now. Let's get going. So the first thing I wanted to do was get this piece of cherry surfaced. Uh, pretty rough to start, so, you know, I opened up G-Sender. It's got a wonderful surfacing program built right in. Makes it super easy. You set your dimensions, you set your depth, you set your bit, and you watch your wood go from rough to beautiful. When the top side was done, I flipped it over, ran basically the same program again, and I had a wonderfully lovely piece of cherry ready to get cut up. Now that my wood's all surfaced, I'm going to do my best to cut this weird kind of not square lumber to as rectangular shape as possible, go over to the miter saw, give it a little choppy choppy, and then we're ready to go. The inspiration behind this heart-shaped box is actually my daughter. She asked for a jewelry box, and I thought, what better way to celebrate Valentine's Day for Valen than to make her a heart-shaped jewelry box? That is what the little bird and the feather are all about on the top of the box. She, her nickname has been Little Bird since she was born, and I drew that feather for her for her first birthday. So what better way to customize something for someone than by carving it in and giving it to them? I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. As far as bits go for this project, there was a whole bunch of bit changes going on there. There was a 90 degree V bit for the lettering. There was a quarter inch ball nose for the texture. There was quarter inch down cuts for the profile cuts. Um, of the bits, machines, accessories used in this video were made by CNC Labs. So if you're interested in finding out more about them, check out our website, cnc.com. In the end, it all came out roses. <laughs> Valentine's roses. <laughs> and this box is amazing. I started off with a 90 degree V-bit to do the letter and the feather. I could have dropped down to a 60 or a 30 to get some deeper detail, but then those wider areas on the feather especially were going to get really deep or I'd have to put a flat bottom on them. And I didn't want to do that. So that's why I used the 90. I think it turned out really nice. The texture was the quarter inch uh, ball nose. I love the way this turned out. It takes a flat piece of wood and turns it into texture so easily and it looks so cool. I just love how this turned out. Then we threw in the quarter inch down cut and that was to drill the index holes for the front side. So when I flip the box over, or I flip the piece of wood over, um, I have some holes to align on the back side so everything lines up nicely. The bowl bit did its thing. It did a roughing pass, and then it did a really thin finish pass with a tighter step over on it. Some people are gonna say, why did you leave that in the final product? And my answer is because my daughter liked the pattern. So I left it and I didn't argue with her. With all the carving done, it was time to do just a tiny bit of sanding on this guy. There was just a little witness line uh, from where obviously my tramming is off by <laughs> like a hair. It was minuscule, but as not only this was a gift for my daughter, but being a perfectionist by nature, I wanted to make this thing as beautiful as I could. So uh, I worked my way up through the grits. I think I started with 100 to get rid of that witness line all the way up to 180 or 220 to finish it off. And uh, the sanding was done. Now it's time to bring out the beauty in this wood. I reached for my old buddy Ligna. Um, I did some testing with some other products to see if it affected the color or anything. It brought out the grain a little better and Ligna just, I mean, I probably could have used a wax to be honest in my testing, um, but to get all these little details, it was gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt. So I'm not gonna lie, I lazed out and used a liquid, something that would get into these little grooves a lot easier. Um, and Ligna has always just been a really great finish for me. We're not paid to use it. Uh, they aren't sponsoring us or anything, but in my experience, it's just worked really well. I don't know about you guys, but I would say that reaction says it all. She's thrilled, she loves it. It took me a little longer to get done than I would like, but you know, that's the woodworking world. We hope you enjoyed this little ditty on how to make a heart-shaped box for someone. It doesn't just have to be for Valentine's Day. It could be any day. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. We are gonna do our absolute best to answer them, to help you out, make sure that you're on your way. If you liked what you saw here today, 
make sure you give us a like and a subscribe and a notification if you really want to dig in on what we're doing. The more people who know about CNC Labs, the better, because then the more people who know about CNC Labs. That's a win. And until the next one, we'll see you around the CNC.